So the lecture I attended was Molecular Biomechanics and Mechanobiology by Dr. Chang Zhu, who's affiliated with the BME department. So in his uh, presentation, uh, he explains that the cell can be thought of as an organized collection of molecular machines. So many bi biomolecules can have parts that are moving, uh, that generate forces, and can convert chemical energy to mechanical work, or vice versa, it can go from mechanical work to chemical energy. And he provided many examples to show how mechanics regulate biology. And this was an interesting topic because molecular biomechanics is fairly new in biology. Uh, recent advances with studies related to proteins and nucleic acid uh, and mechanisms as such occurring in a living cell has propelled this area of study. So it has become critical in bioengineering especially, uh, which makes it interesting because my major is biomedical engineering. So something I learned was there exists a molecule that presents information to mechanoreceptors upon changes in its mechanical environment. So this is an example of, mo of molecules that are changing due to surroundings that affect the body biologically. So these molecule molecules are used, are, I mean, are called mechanopresenters, and they change their conformation constantly based on the environment around them. So as a follow-up to the presentation and lecture, uh, I researched how force regulates kinetic rates of biochemical reactions. And there are three types of bonds. One is the ideal bond, which is off rate and lasts a lifetime. And it is independent of force. Uh, the second bond is slip bond, which is uh, off rate accelerated. Uh, so the lifetime is shortened as a result. And it's by force. It's not independent of force, but it's by force. And the last one is catch bond which is off-rate de off decelerated and lifetime is prolonged as a result uh, by force. And this concludes uh, the lecture.